Hi, my name is Benji, and today I am building an IKEA cabinet, an IKEA greenhouse cabinet. And I got the Rudsta model because I like the size better, I like the proportions, I think it looks really nice, and it comes in black, and it's cheaper, which is a big plus. So, I've never built one of these before, and I think this video might be a little bit messy. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take you on this journey of me building it, and hopefully it turns out good. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. The cabinet, a drill and a hole saw. This is to make holes for the wires, and then you're gonna need something to seal the metal from rust. Small fans for air circulation. This is essential in a high humidity environment. Some type of shelving, I'm using magnetic shelves. Some type of grow light, I'm using Monio's two foot LEDs and I'm using two of them. And then you're gonna need magnets to suspend the grow lights. So I just wanna say that the ideas for the build mostly come from someone on Instagram named The Planty Edit. They answered a bunch of my questions and helped me with building the cabinet. So thank you to them and go check out their Instagram. So first we're gonna add the ceiling coating all over the metal parts so that way the cabinet and stuff doesn't rust under high humidity. <laughs> Dave, get off the cabinet. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, when you're spraying um, your cabinet with the anti-rust coating, I recommend that you wear a mask because this stuff like, it's pretty stinky. <laughs> so I'm using this um, drill and hole saw I got from Ikea, and I will be drilling, I'll be creating a hole right here, I think. Yeah, like right here. And this is a two and a half inch um, saw. And I'm gonna be putting all, a, like a little bit of olive oil um, on here because I heard you can do that and people recommended I do that um, if I didn't have like actual metal oil or something. I do have a hole now and the cover fits pretty well on it. I think it looks nice. Um, there's a few scratches, but that's okay. Okay, Ooh. okay now we can go inside and start building. So I've completed the cabinet and it looks really good. I had someone help me set this up. Um, it would be really difficult to do it by yourself. There's some things like when you're putting on the glass doors and stuff, um, that would be difficult but not impossible to do by yourself. But yeah, generally the assembly was pretty easy. I just followed the directions. And I'm gonna be putting this on here. Um, I think I'll have to glue it on, which is fine because this falls off and this isn't super secure so i'm just gonna glue this to the ring and then glue the ring onto the cabinet and the reason i chose to make the hole here instead of on the bottom was because i wanted to be able to hide the cords um that run through in the back because I, I don't really like cord showing so i moved the cabinet to this area of my room where my desk used to be i think it looks okay i, I need to clean up a little bit but it's sort of it doesn't block the entryway, but it makes it feel a little bit crowded. Um, ideally, it wouldn't be here, but I don't really have space anywhere else. So yeah, I'm gonna start setting it up and putting in the accessories. So I've glued this, I don't know what this is called, but I glued it on um, for the wiring. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it's gonna work here to hide the wires from normally that are shown like right here. Um, they'll just go behind the cabinet. I'm putting magnets here, so that way I can attach the light. I've heard that when people use the double-sided tape, sometimes the light falls down because the humidity is too high. So I'm going to be using these magnets instead. And the magnets attach to this part of the light, these like little metal things, very loosely though. So I'm putting two of these lights up. Here's the second one. Here are my magnetic shelves. It matches so well with the cabinet, I think. 
here's my shelving and now I'm gonna add in the fans so I've set my fans up in kind of a strange arrangement I used these magnets um, oops. Well, <laughs> I used these magnets to kind of get it to stick on like this um, because with these fans if they're all the way back up against something like for example I was gonna put it either right here or right here with a magnet um, they don't really blow that much air so they have to be sort of like not completely flat for it to have really good airflow um, so here I had used another magnet so I turned on the fans and they're blowing a lot of air so now I just have to put plants in so I'm gonna show you guys what plants I decided to put in my cabinet. Um, let's start on the bottom. So I put in this watermelon peperomium, and I put in my yellow variegated monster adansonii, and then my white variegated monster adansonii, and here's my varicosum, and a philodendron 69686, and a Marks fantasy. And this is a Philodendron Splendid. And I also put my Obliqua in here. Um, even though it's already in its own like terrarium enclosure. I like the amount of light it gets in this cabinet. Um, because I think before I was giving it too much light. So I think this is kind of the perfect amount. Then I have some Philodendron Gigas Propagations. And my Monstera Aurea. And then in the back, I have this Epipremnum panatum albo variegata, my Anthurium vicii, and my Philodendron upii, and Anthurium moroquianum. And then this is kind of interesting. I have my terrarium that I stuck a magnet on the back of to put to magnetize on the back of the wall. And I think it kind of fills in some of the otherwise empty space. And I did the same thing with my gravity planter. I have this fern here that is magnetic, so I just attached it there. And over here, I hung one of my mini terrariums. And then I have this little glass of propagations. I have a Hoya Linearis and variegated string of hearts. And I have my pink princess right here and my Monstera Thai constellation. So one of the things I'm kind of struggling about with this cabinet is where to place the plants because there's only one light source up here and then it goes straight down and so the plants like right here and right here on the shelves get a lot of light like almost too much light and then the plants on the bottom don't get enough light or barely get enough light and the plants directly underneath the shelf get some light blocked um so i don't have any down here and also this big monstera blocks a lot of light, so I'm just putting a propagation down there. But I think this is okay for now, and I'll keep an eye on this anthurium to make sure it's not getting too much light. Um, the Philodendron Pink Princess in tight constellation should be okay with getting a lot of light, because I've had them pretty close to the light before. And I'm not sure how this fern is gonna do, and it might burn, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> So I didn't add any kind of weather stripping to block out these gaps. Um, this cabinet has kind of a lot of large gaps, like there's a gap right here, and here, and here, and then up along there. So I know that most people's goal with the cabinet is to get super high humidity, like over 90% humidity. Um, but without weather stripping, I get about 75 to 80% humidity which I think is good enough. Um, it's it's a it's like a 30, 40% bump um, compared to my regular room humidity. So I think it's good enough. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with my cabinet. I think it was pretty easy to put together. My main issue was trying to make the hole for the wires to go through. Um, the Ikea drill wasn't strong enough. So make sure you use a stronger drill. Um, what else? I'm having some trouble with the lighting situation. The light source is like 40 inches or so above where the lowest plants are. 
um, and it's also kind of too close to the plants on the shelves, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do or if that's even an issue over time I'll see and thank you for watching I think my next video I'll do I'll talk more about like plant care um, maybe how to plant in pumice or just like general plant care tips or maybe some aquarium content I don't know uh, so thanks for watching uh, goodbye